There are many theories about the origin of red velvet cake, but one thing is for certain. This southern specialty has become a favorite all across America. It's hard to resist its deep red chocolate color and tangy cream cheese frosting, especially when made into cupcakes. Let me show you how to make them. Two and a half cups of cake flour. Level your cake flour after you dip two and a half cups into a sieve. Cake flour tends to, even though it's a very light flour, tends to get a little lumpy. So you want to really sift it through a fine sieve and a half cup. Two tablespoons of Dutch processed cocoa. And a teaspoon of salt. And just put that through the sieve. The cocoa, just two tablespoons, make it a nice dark color and rub out any lumps that you may have. And one and a half cups of butter melted right into the bowl of your stand mixer. And beat this with one and a half cups of granulated sugar. That's a half. That's a cup. Add your red food coloring, and it's a half of a teaspoon. Oh, wow. Isn't that pretty? And one teaspoon of vanilla. Good quality vanilla extract. We now add two large eggs. Now you can add your dry ingredients with one cup of buttermilk. Here's our buttermilk. Again, the addition of the buttermilk, so good with the cocoa, making a very nice, tender cupcake. That's what we're after here. And there's one other ingredient, and that is baking soda mixed with two teaspoons of vinegar uh, and one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. Oh, now watch the froth. Do you see what happens? It just froths up like that. Get it all in there with that little tiny bit of vinegar. Now that's a very pretty color batter. Put one scoop in each paper as neatly as you can. And this recipe makes 20 beautiful cupcakes. Transfer these to a 350 degree preheated oven and bake, rotating halfway through your baking time of about 25 minutes. Now these beautiful red velvet cupcakes can be topped with just powdered sugar, but infinitely better is a really luscious, fluffy cream cheese frosting. To make it a little bit pink, I'm incorporating just about two or three tablespoons of strained raspberry jam. It'll make it a little bit pink, give a little different flavor to the cream cheese frosting. Pretty, right? And uh, you can mix it all in or you can um, have it swirl, but I like it all mixed in, so it's really a pale, pale pink with a slightly raspberry flavor. Mm, it smells so good. And then just with an offset spatula, decide how much frosting to put on each of the cupcakes and chill them well before you serve them. So this is pretty. And because it has a little raspberry flavoring, you could even put, uh, for a dinner party, a little raspberry right on top. This is the perfect cupcake for pretty much any occasion. Enjoy. Mm.